Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and today we're going to play with my dot SketchUp. So let's get cracking. All right, friends. So in a browser at the very top, you need to type my dot SketchUp.com. There will also be a link in the description of this video. You can click that as well. When it loads, we need to choose sign in with Google, pick your account, and let it do its thing. Yours should be blank, and all I want you to do is hit Create New, and we are going to use simple feet and inches for our project. This person just shows us how big the world is. We are going to click on the Delete key to get rid of her. We are going to name our file by clicking the word Untitle, choosing the SketchUp folder, and then down in the bottom, type in the word House with our initials so that we can save it. Notice it will show you the name up top so that it's saved. And it's time to start learning how to draw. SketchUp is a click and release program, so we're going to click a tool and then let go of the mouse button. I'm going to roll back a little bit so that the world is a little larger. And then I'm going to click on the rectangle tool, letting go of the mouse, and then clicking the rectangle tool. I'm going to click on the corner and let go of the mouse, stretch the pencil out towards the green line and around the red line and then click to set down my rectangle shape. Now that we've made our shape, let's see how large it is. Click the tape measure tool and switch to the dimension tool. Click on the very first corner and then click on the second corner and then pull the mouse out and you can see that mine was 24 feet. Was yours larger or was it smaller? I'm going to measure this side as well. I'm not going to start here. I'm going to start down here. That helps the system understand what we're doing. And I'm going to click and I'm going to stretch it out. Now I could go up in the air, but I don't really like those. So I'm going to go out along the red axis to show that I had 46 feet. Once again, it does not matter if yours is different than mine. We're just learning how to do it. This to show that I had 46 feet. Once again, it does not matter if yours is different than mine. We're just learning how to do it. One of my favorite tools in SketchUp is what's called the push-pull tool. It is this one right here. And when you move out over your shape, you can see the dots to know that you have selected it. I'm going to click and let go of the mouse button. Once again, click and release. I'm going to lift it up whatever height I want and click to make it permanent. I'm going to switch to the orbit tool. And I'm going to drag on my screen so I can see this from the top. I'm going to choose the pencil tool. Make sure you're doing this with me. And then when you go along, see how that's a red dot because it's on the edge? When you get to the middle, it'll tell you it's the midpoint. I'm going to go back to that midpoint and I'm going to click. I'm going to move the mouse to the other end and I'm going to move it until it's that green as well. Click to make it permanent. All right, friends, let's make sure you've got the move tool, click release, move out and find the middle and then if you lift straight up you'll see that line turns blue and says that it's on the blue axis so it's matching this one right here it takes a little practice but when you've got it so that it's blue you can click and you have got a perfectly shaped house that easily let's paint the roof really quick once again i'm going to orbit so i can click and drag so i can see the roof and if you go to the materials there are a few materials that are right here. I'll just click and drop one so you can see how you choose it and paint. But then even cooler is to search the materials and find the fun things that they have built in. I'm going to go down to the roofing and I'm just going to pick one of the shingles. And when you click, they drop on instantly. Now we can orbit to see the other side or you can also push in your scroll wheel and orbit. That's an automatic tool that lets you do that faster. And then I'm going to paint that side as well. Let's quickly add a door to our house. I'm going to do it with the rectangle tool. I'm going to move anywhere along this side, making sure I click at the bottom. And then I'm going to pull up and over to find where my door is. And as it lifts up, I'm going to click and choose the size that I think is coolest. I am flexible with how large you make that. I'm going to switch to the push-pull tool, and I'm going to nudge it in just a little bit too, so that it just looks a little cooler. You can pick how much you nudge it. I'm just showing that it's sunk in. I'm going to switch to the rectangle tool and I'm going to just draw a window on the front. You can pick how big you want it. And then this is really cool. 
I'm going to go to the glass and mirrors. And if you hit this, this is how you bring them back. And remember, this is where you browse. And when you bring in one of the glass colors, I'm going to use this blue one, and you paint that window, you can actually see inside your building. Just like that. I'm going to choose one of the browns for my door. And then I'm going to choose some siding for the house. I want this siding. Don't forget to side all the little places. Notice I'm using my scroll wheel to click and look up underneath. And then I've got to side the other sides as well. Let's add a couple more cool windows. This time I'm going to do a circle window. Once again, I just click on the side, stretch it out however far I want, switch back to the glass. Notice you can collapse these so they're easier to find. And then I'm going to paint that window with the glass. Let's add a sweet slider door in the back. Let's use a little bit cooler skill and make a sweet slider door. So notice I'm making a rectangle. Move over to the push-pull tool. And we want to choose this one called offset. When we click on the edge, we can go past just a little bit. We are going to then erase the pieces underneath. You can do that with the eraser. Notice you simply click on the lines with the little dot. I'm going to go back to my colors and I'm going to put a brown color in this area. So that's going to be the edge of the window. I'm then going to use the pencil to find the exact midpoint. Remember, they'll show you that on the screen. That's the midpoint of the whole house. I want the midpoint of this rectangle. And I'm going to stretch it up. And now let's return to our glass materials. Remember, they're down below. I'm going to collapse that so they're easier to see. And I'm going to put a window on each side of this little door. I want to make this piece a little wider so it looks more like it should. So I'm going to just zoom in and go a little bit over, make sure it's straight down. I'm going to go a little bit over, make sure it's straight down. I'm going to click on that eraser tool, get rid of the one in the middle, and then I'm going to paint the brown for the other piece. Let's grab that eraser and erase that little piece up there. And our slider door looks pretty darn sweet. Let's switch to that orbit tool again, look at it from the side, and let's add a cool polygon window up here. Once again, when you click the polygon, let go. Come out and click where you want to put it. Stretch it out as far as you want to put it. You can rotate ahead of time to get it the exact way you want. I'm going to pull straight down, and then I'm going to change it to the cool glass. Once again, hiding the colors, and then clicking on the glass color that I think is going to be cool. All right, friends, so there you have it, some basic skills. Yours is supposed to look a little different than mine. I hope the main thing is you had fun, you learned some skills, you learned how to click, and you learned how to release and actually build something kind of amazing. I'm going to click Save so I don't lose it. You need to do that as well. If you've got extra time, you can add a doghouse, a garage. You can just play and make it more and more awesome. What you do need, though, is you do need to get me a screenshot so you can turn this in in Google Classroom. I'm going to switch to the select tool. Remember you can orbit by pushing in the scroll wheel or clicking on the orbit tool. Find the perfect angle to show off just how epic your house is. And then click on the hamburger bar and choose export. And we are going to export a PNG. It lets you double check your sizes. That looks really good. I like what I've got. And you can just hit the button. It tells you it may take a little more time. We don't care about that. Hit OK, and yours may save automatically. If it does, then you know you can use Show in Folder, and that is where you'll find it for turning into Google Classroom. Friends, if you made something awesome, you can also share it with me. I am on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, all at HLModTech. You can also send me one of these pictures at HLModTech on Gmail as well. Of course, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HLModTech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.